hi friends good evening so today i'm going to show you a iot uh, to manage home security system so today we will be doing a poc uh, of switching on and off your led lights using raspberry pi devices and it can be controlled remotely so for this poc is uh, we need the following technologies and uh, devices like we will be using raspberry pi version 3 and the software that we will be using in this POC will be Tomcat, Pi 4J, ActiveMQ, JT, WebSocket, MySQL database, HiChart for charting and JartC REST web services. So as you can see in the schematic diagram how the application uh, flow is going to happen from the device to the web application so you can see that the, this is the raspberry pi device and the signal is going from the device to mq we have used our active mq and from there there is mq listener which gets and receives the signal from the mq now then another signal the another there is another service from the raspberry pi there is the rest of service written on the jet uh, jersey web service so it is used for on and off the LED lights in the Raspberry Pi. This is exposed as a web service. So in this flow, that is when there is a signal, when you press a button in the Raspberry Pi, when you press a switch, the signal goes from the Raspberry Pi device to the MQ directly. And there is an MQ listener which actually accept these signals and then pass on to the application one. The name of the application is WebSockets which is written in the JT and web sockets. And the same signal is captured in the MySQL database. And there is another application which is named application 2, that is a high chart, name of the application that we have used. So it accepts this information. This application, the purpose of this high chart application is to get the historical records from the MySQL database and post it into the uh, web page. And this application, application 1, that is WebSocket, it directly listens to the queue. That is when there is a signal coming from the Raspberry Pi device. So when you press a switch, so the signals coming from the Raspberry Pi device directly goes to the application 1 and directly, uh, this is a real time stream engine, we directly po uh, capture the information signal, process it, analyze it, and then post it into the web page. So this is a real time flow. And this is a historical flow. So in the same web page, you will see one is the real-time streaming chart and another one is the uh, historical record chart. The historical record data shows uh, that suppose in the last seven days, what is the electrical consumption uh, has happened for the light and based on the time cost. Uh, this, this, uh, this information will get uh, from the MySQL database. And this application too, it will process, analyze, and post it into the web page. But this one is the real time. So when you press on the switch, directly get the information and directly post it in the page. When the switch is off, it also records the time and then it posts the information to the page. So it is a real time, but it, this is a historical. So there are two separate chart. Once you see the application in the next. Um, slides you will see how these two charts are working so if the switch is on then what you will do yes call the web service that is a rest web service this one to make it off and if the switch is off then that is you can call the rest web service directly to make the switch is on so this work this uh, activity you can do it remotely so that means you know Suppose you make, make the switch on and you left home, so you will get a signal on your mobile device that uh, the switch is on. Switch is on because it's directly real stream, real time stream data you are getting into the mobile. So if you get, you have the web service which is accessible from anywhere, so you can call this web service to make it make the switch off. So this is how the application. Uh, flow. So in the next few slides, we'll see how it works. Here you can see the switching, uh, the circuit diagram. Now, so now let's start with the process 
how the application works and how we have uh, set up this POC. So first log into the Raspberry Pi. So using Putty, we'll be logging into the Raspberry Pi devices. And we have WinSCP also for file transfer. And then uh, we need also a VNC server that needs to be installed in the Raspberry Pi so that from the laptop or any other devices you can directly connect to the device itself. Now here we can you can see uh, we are actually running the Tomcat in the Pi. So we will uh, start the REST web services that is installed in the Pi. So it is also run in the Tomcat. So we are starting the Tomcat. We'll, now we'll run the active MQ in the current local machine. So these are the comments. So we are starting the active MQ in our local machine. Now we will run the high chat application that will use the Tomcat. So this application will get the historical data and it will process it, analyze it and then post it to the web page. Now we will run the web socket application that is installed in the current machine. This application will directly stream, get the data, stream data from the device. That is it will directly get the signal from the device and uh, it will post it into the web page. So it is run in the JT. So as you can see this is the ambient JT. And we have the MS MySQL, the, so it is all the instance is already running in the machine in the server. So once they get getting the signal, it will directly post into the MySQL databases. So the, when everything is running fine, uh, yeah. so you can see JT application it is running, and uh, it is running successfully. Now you can see the MySQL database data is start. Uh, data is coming from reading from the queue real time data with value 0 and 1 and you can see the website uh, how it is working so you can see the real time data is coming from the device itself when you click now this is a zero value and now it is already off now I'm making it on from the web service okay the switch is on as you can see when the switch is on you are getting that high data that is the electrical consumption is high so as you can see the graph chart is moving upwards and the below chart that is red and green it is showing the historical data so two values it is showing first one is the power and the second one is the percentage of cost and there are two signals so these are two different charts as you can see I'm going to make the switch off so in that way the switch is off you can see uh, in the chart there is a drop of power so you can the first or the second one is also showing the historical data so this is what uh, IOT POC and this is the device this is the Raspberry Pi device with mother breadboard and this is how the circuit is designed and now when I click switch on and you can see the LED is on and at that time the signal is going to the uh, real stream engine and then it is displayed in the web page and this is how it looks like in actually and I have shown you the circuit diagram in the beginning of the presentation so this was a basic uh, POC of uh, IOT using our LED light switch on off remotely using REST web services and getting the signal directly from the Raspberry Pi and showing direct the st real stream data into the web page. So hope you enjoyed the uh, video. If you like it, just let me know. And if you have any questions, let, let me know. Thank you.